Hello folks. Well, today we're going to be opening this box here using children's scissors. Yeah, because it's, it's, I'm sure it's not that difficult to open, right? So we'll just see what happens. Uh, I don't remember what's in this box. <laughs> uh, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, it is possible it is something that I am thinking of, but uh, we'll open and see what happens. And anyway, I'm guessing if we just stick that in there, Once again, I need my knee in order to hold something steady while I hold the camera. There we go. Yeah, that's... My thumb is stuck. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got it out. All right. Yeah. My fingers in there. Oh, maybe I do actually need the scissors. I thought I might just rip, but apparently this is really thick cardboard. All right, try again. Now you think wouldn't think that children's scissors are like strong enough to do this? But whatever, <laughs> better than trying to rip it apparently. All right, this and my thumb is stuck again. <laughs> I can't grip it properly because my thumb gets keeps getting stuck in the hole. Adult problems. My thumb keeps getting stuck in the hole. Okay. But it's definitely not designed for adults to use. All right, there we go. Woo! Done. All right. Oh, and there's a letter. Ooh. Okay, I only had talked to this author just a few days ago. I wasn't expecting this so soon. So this is uh, Dylan Deuce. So not that long ago, I was just talking to them. And we were talking about the covers. We were talking about the old cover versus the new cover. And I said there were certain aspects of the old cover. This is the new one. There were certain aspects of the old cover that I preferred. And then this one, like I like this thing on the front with the logo and I like the text to here and here. But what I liked about the old cover was it had this helmet on there and I rather liked the helmet. So it was like, okay, well, wouldn't it be nice to keep the helmet? And if you're hearing noises at the door right now, that's my son trying to get into the bedroom because I've closed the door. And my wife's in the other room and she's watching him. Okay, let's see what. So, an epic tale, a broken nation in need of a savior, ravaged by a plague. Well, this sounds familiar. This is 2020, so like plagues just everywhere. Decimated by dark magic, infiltrated by a foreign evil, seeking to dominate from within. Brinth is on the eve of its dissolution. When all the good men are dead and gone, who is to answer the call and defy what is wicked for what is right? Hmm. Defy what is wicked for what is right. Okay. Okay, so we got three unlikely heroes. It is a heretic monk who apparently becomes a sorcerer. And then there's the infamous crusader turned vigilante. Okay. And then there's the aristocrat who becomes a rogue monster hunter. Or, or I guess he's all these things that, you know, th things in his own mind, it says here. It is. Okay, so he's a rogue monster hunter and legend in his own mind. Okay, so their names are Aldous Weaver, Kendrick the Cold, and Theron Lord. I love fantasy names. I, I think it's great when you get, you know, you go through these books and you, you find these very, shall we say, uh, campaign or setting specific fantasy names okay so the three men are condemned to die for their crimes find in each other both the will and the means to survive a dark brotherhood with sword and sorcery is forged that's my son knocking at the door because he wants in and all monsters meek and mighty to fear the three Ooh, okay so this sounds like a monster hunter book similar to um the witcher which which is something that i read already um and to some extent something that i write already uh yeah so sword and sorcery and the witcher and it's you know it has a similar feel to it just from talking uh reading the covers and everything uh and talking to the author uh this looks very interesting this looks like something that i will really enjoy 
So I look forward to reading this. Let's let's take a quick look inside. What's actually inside here? Uh, so we've got a nice little thing there right there. Description. Okay. So these are other books by the author. Okay. That's reserved. I read a thing recently about if there's a, you know, the word sword in the title, that often means it's a sword and sorcery book. It's just a thing that sword and sorcery authors tend to do. If they put, if they put a uh, sword in the title, it's often a sword and sorcery book. Not always, but sometimes. Because, you know, it could be called something like Dark Sword, Legends of the... Death Star or something like that. And, you know, because you could do that theoretically. Uh, and then Star Wars might sue you for using the word Death Star. But you never know. Yeah. But yeah, it could be like a Star Wars-like fantasy story. And don't argue with me. It's, you know, fan uh, Star Wars is technically a fantasy. It's not actually science fiction because there's no really no science fiction in there. It is, at best, science fantasy, but really it's just a fantasy. Yeah. Okay, right, so. And this is... Oh, hang on, this is... This is basically like an invoice, practically. All right, so I enjoyed opening that. Although, I don't think I would pick scissors like this again to do this a second time. I think this was really annoying to try to open with. I would have been better off with a knife or even that uh, letter opener that I previously used. Now, uh, while I'm at it, hey, guess what? Here's my book that came out last year on December 1st, if I recall correctly. Also has, shall we say, uh, Sword and Sorcery. It's, it's more of a heroic fantasy, but it's there's definitely some Sword and Sorcery going on at the same time. Uh, so people, yes, please do check out Dylan Deuce's book. Go check out mine too. Uh, I look forward to reading this. It should be very interesting. Wait, how many chapters were there? It's like almost 400 pages. Oh, I think that's the end there. And then there's the epilogue. Okay. Looks interesting. There's no map. It's disappointing, but oh well. I do like maps. Okay, that's all for now. And uh, let's see what happens uh, when I open my next book next time.